Hello and welcome. After that wonderful break in scenic Sikkim, I am back with some bits and bites about psychology, back to familiar territory. And in familiar territory, I'm faced with the unfamiliar. I'm faced with questions about biases. What are biases? What are prejudices? Why do they occur? Do they need to occur? Essentially, biases are shortcuts developed by our brain because from the time we are born, we are exposed to so much data. So in order to make processing life easy, the brain categorizes data into the familiar and the unfamiliar. Uh, evolution has taught us to focus more on the familiar and be more comfortable with it and to be a little uncomfortable and cautious about the unfamiliar or something that's different. Why did nature teach us such lessons? Well, because when our uh, cave dwelling ancestor was out there walking through those uh, wild areas of the planet, at that point, uh, it was safer for him to approach unfamiliarity with caution. It prevented him from getting killed. And that ability to approach unfamiliarity with caution has gotten embedded neurologically in a part of our brain called as the amygdala that along with the frontal cortex is responsible for what we refer to as uh, biases in our decision making they are essentially referred to as cognitive biases we're all familiar with our habit of looking for data or information that confirms our pet theories or looking for data or information that discredit, discredits uh, theories that we don't find favorable. So this is something which is biologically based in us. Of course, it was far more helpful when our cave dwelling ancestors was out there battling the wild and the dangers were very uh, objective and clear. It's not so clear when we are now in unfamiliar territory and the dangers are far more complex, far more modern. What can we do about them? research says there's a lot we can do firstly stop fearing the unfamiliar go ahead face it understand it try to process it initiate conversations get to know people get put yourself in situations that you're not familiar with and play the devil's advocate when you are assessing facts that do not match your pet theory take the help of a trained professional if you need to because our biases are so deep rooted in us and most of us tend to believe that we don't have biases but research says that no matter how educated how aware we are most of us tend to have all of us tend to have biases it is neurologically coded so there's really no escaping that the best thing we can do is be aware of it focus on data which does not match our piece of information Take the help of somebody uh, um, you know, who can guide you to processing that unfamiliar data. You don't necessarily have to get agree with it, but you don't have to remain uncomfortable with it. Talk to people, get into situations, go to places that you are not comfortable with, that you're not familiar with. Be mindful, stay aware, and watch how your biases produce. Apply this.